I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Quiet Art Cafe. So today is a new Artist Alley vlog. I'm taking you guys with me and I am on my way to UNCW GameCon. This is a gaming convention in Wilmington, North Carolina and I was super excited. I've been trying new events outside of just Comic Con so I wasn't sure what to expect but here I am checking in and let's get started. GameCon. It looks like I'm one of the first vendors there. I met with Maeve, who's the host, and I'm gonna go back to the car to tell my parents where to unload. So we're at the Warwick Center now, and these are our two tables. Okay, now that we're here, it's time to set up shop. This is my favorite part of the Artist Alley videos. My table and my shop is constantly shifting and changing per convention as I'm learning what's working as a vendor and what's not working. And so, while these clips are rolling, I actually want to talk about some display tips. I get a lot of comments on my Instagram and YouTube. You guys have been asking me, how do I make my shop more appealing? How do I attract customers? So, here are some mini tips for you guys. First off, I say you gotta work on your branding. So, the general impression that customers have you, they probably won't be right in front of you. They're probably going to see you from across the room when they enter a convention or a shop space. So the first thing you got to work on is your branding. Um, what is the general impression that a customer has of you from a distance? Do they see an empty looking flat dark table at the end of the room? Or do they see like a refreshing pop of color or like big items at the front? So working on branding is really important. You guys know that I am a huge pink fanatic. I love pastels. And I think that's probably the first general impression people get when they see my shop from a distance. They see this giant block of pink and pastels and it's very clear that I have a very girly, cutesy style. So figure out what your aesthetic is for your shop brand. Are you a quiet artist? Are you like a classical artist, a horror artist, a gothic artist? So figure out your branding so it'll appeal to your target customer. I also recommend to bring some height to your products. So I know a lot of beginner artists, it's really easy to just lay your stuff flat on the table and call it a day. But I highly don't recommend that because standard tables, they're typically about like maybe three feet, four feet tall. No, maybe three feet tall. So that's actually pretty low when people are standing and walking by your table. They'll have to physically look down to see your product. So I recommend investing into some acrylic stands, some, ba some baskets, maybe some cheap grid cubes, just to raise your products a little bit higher. Uh, my third tip is to have some clear pricing signs so people know exactly what your product is, how much it costs. And then to also pre-package as much as you can before the con. Alright, so it's 12.14 and we just finished setting up shop. So let me show you guys. So this is the entire shop setup. We were provided two six feet tables. So let me show you guys a brief overview. So on this side is where my mom's going to be sitting and we have a giant meringue plush to start. And this is the entrance people will be walking through. First up we have is the blue table. Not much different from Faithful Comic Con. We have Ang and Appa hanging up here. We have um, Spy Family, Demon Slayer, Ghibli plushies, Sailor Scouts, Avatar, Pokemon. And then we kind of just laid the cups around, all the little mini plushie bins like these. And little mini goodies. Then, uh, what is new is some Sanrio hats, so I should fix that. Um, my mom's been working on some crochet bucket hats. Aren't they cute? I love them so much. And then I have my shirt over here. Next is where I'll be sitting. And then this is the pink table. I do need to fix it a little bit, but basically um, this is my setup. So let's see, starting at the top, I just have some of my prints here. I have some peeker stickers. These are new, my boyfriend made, so um, he asked me to sell them today. So I'm gonna try and see. Um, some sticker sheets, die cut stickers. Um, I wasn't sure how to display my totes, so I just put my totes and my shirts here and then some extra shirts here for people to flip through. Then on the bottom we have some art prints, notebooks, mystery bags, keychains. I'm so happy my Ghibli keychains are now restocked. And some pins. And that's the two tables. 
So I got to the convention center around 10.30 ish and it took about like an hour and a half to finish getting set up. I finished setting up right before the convention floor opened to the guests which they opened the doors at 12 p.m. Now of course at every con, um, the opening is always a little bit slow but definitely picked up within the first hour and I was pretty happy for the turnout. Um, I didn't really have high expectations because it was a college convention, but it filled out really well, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'm the social media coordinator um, for the esports club, and so we have access to the Instagram. And then we see your message last night, and then Lena's like, why art shop? And then, like, clicked it and went, okay, I'm about to spend some money tomorrow. <laughs> If you guys have been following me on Instagram and YouTube for a while, you guys know that I've been hitting a lot of different events this year. I've been experimenting with comic cons, anime conventions, cars and coffee, martial arts schools, like you name it. I've been trying a lot of different events to see where I can sell my artwork. And um, I recently saw a post in the Artist Alley Friends group on Facebook and someone was asking like how do you keep from getting burnt out and feeling super sore and exhausted after a long convention so i actually wanted to touch on that topic a little bit because some of you guys do go to conventions like every weekend or even once a month can be a lot for some people lately i've been going every weekend and i admit i'm pretty tired but this is some advice i wish i knew uh, for consistently vending and how to keep your energy up so my first advice is to bring your own chair with a cushion. I recently invested in some director's chairs and it has made such a huge difference in my comfort at cons. Usually at conventions, they provide tables for you that are kind of low. So when you're sitting and talking to customers, you have to constantly look upward and that can kind of strain your neck and there's not very much cushion on there. So I highly recommend in investing in like a director's chair, something that's foldable, tall, and has like an attachable table. It just makes such a big difference. 
I also recommend to wear comfortable shoes at a con. You'll be doing a lot of standing and walking for long convention hours, so wearing comfortable shoes is a huge plus. Uh, third advice is to bring a layered outfit just in case a convention is really hot or really cold. It's going to be a hit or miss. Some conventions blast the AC and some don't have any at all. So wearing layers can really help you be comfortable throughout the day. I also recommend try to prepare early so you can get enough rest the night before. Don't stay up too late to keep preparing for your shot because being sleep derived and then trying to work for 10 hours, it's just not going to work. You're going to be exhausted, you might be kind of cranky, and you're not going to be working at your best potential. So I also recommend to prepare super early. Another tip is try to pick a hotel that has breakfast included if that's possible because that way you're not skipping meals and you can be fully energized without breaking the bank too much. My sixth tip is to just avoid getting sick as much as possible. It's very easy too when you're handling so much cash, talking to so many different people. So I recommend um, keeping up with your vitamin C supplements, bring some sanitizer, wash your hands often, bring food gloves when you're eating. And I also recommend packing healthier, energy-rich snacks so you don't feel lethargic and greasy after like chips and soda. So those are my tips. I really hope those are helpful. I did sell out of the little Korean Hanbok dolls and uh, one of the Doki Doki cups over here. And this is Roxanne. She is my table neighbor and owner of Roxy Box Art. She's a super kind and talented artist. She makes prints, amazing holographic sticker sheets and die cut stickers and I love her stuff. So please go check her out on Instagram. It was pretty slow, but we sold Anya plushie, Nezuko, Tanjiro, Kiki. Um, we sold out of the little Korean Hanbok dolls. And then we, this is all we have left of the whales. We kept restocking this one and sold out of a Doki Doki cup. Then on the right, the pink table did okay. The mystery bags did better as usual. Um, we sold some keychains, some sticker sheets. But yeah, I definitely overpacked for this con, but um, yeah, it was pretty okay. Packed up, it's four o'clock and I'm ready to go. I will all my It's four thirty-nine. I just finished packing up the shop and we're gonna go ahead and head home. And that's a wrap for UNCW GameCon. I had a great time there as a vendor. It was definitely a smaller local convention, but I really appreciated the host of the event. I felt very welcome. They were very accommodating and the customers were amazing. I had such a good time and it was such a pick me up from my previous convention. So thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you did, comment below a strawberry emoji. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching the entire video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.